Mamilodi Sundowns. They also have to overturn a 2-1 loss to the Angolan side Petro Duolanda. But that match is happening on Saturday. It is the CAF Champions League and they are looking to cement their place in the semi-finals, which is why we have with us the Mamilodi Sundowns goalkeeper Kennedy Mwini, who is going to be talking to us about that very important match that is happening this weekend. But before we get to all of that, a very good evening to you, Kennedy. Yesterday was a very exciting uh, AFCON qualifier draw. We saw Zambia are placed in the same group as hosts, <laughs> Ivory Coast. There is also Lesotho and the Comoros. How are you guys are fancying your chances in terms of qualifying for next year's showpiece? Look, I think uh, it's, uh, it's a fair draw. And I think uh, we've got all the... Uh, We've got all the rights to say we will qualify because, you know, uh, we know uh, it won't be easy in Lesotho, you know. Yeah. It won't be easy when you go to Comoros and again playing against the Ivory Coast, you know, they would want to revenge. So it's a tricky one, but uh, yeah, looking forward to those games, yeah. All right. And then in terms of the PSL as well, you guys are just a few games away from clinching the trophy. This is going to be your seventh title with uh, Sundowns. Uh, how would you describe your league so far? Because really you've been shattering records uh, as a team, left, right and centre. I think so far so good. I think um, the, t the team has done well. And uh, I think that's where we wanted to be because we knew that uh, beginning of the season, we knew that we were going to have a lot of games, including the... Uh, the domestic uh, cups uh, together with the Champions League. So I think uh, we have put ourselves where we are now and uh, we, we are happy where we are, yeah. All right, yeah. so this weekend is the big one. Uh, as Sundowns, you hadn't lost so far in the CAF Champions League. It had to be a very sad loss to the Angolan side, 2-1. Mm. Firstly, how was that quarterfinal encounter? Look, I, I think in any Champions League game when you go... When you're playing away, I think it's always difficult. Uh, but I think uh, yeah, we did what we could, but we didn't get a result. But uh, the away goal counts. But uh, at, the end, at the end of the day, I think we, we have to make it count when they come this side because uh, we're doing everything possible to make sure that uh, uh, our fans are happy and they must come in numbers because uh, we want to at least fill the stadium. Yeah. And of course, there was uh, that controversy with uh, VAR. What is your standpoint as a club in terms of what happened there? And do you think this is also going to be another huge talking point uh, come Saturday evening? I think we've been crying about VAR. And uh, I think, uh, look, I, w I wouldn't say it was unfair to us because, you know, um, before they go, I think there was uh, uh, a foul somewhere. So after we scored, they had to go back to that foul. That's why we were denied the goal. But uh, other than that, I think uh, it's good to play uh, when you have VAR because, you know, especially in Africa, we need VAR because there's uh, too much things which happens, especially when you're away from home. So I think uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good step cuff they're taking here. Yeah. All right. And uh, as a club, you have now decided to do something wonderful for the fans for this weekend because we saw in Angola, mm. the fans came out in their numbers to support their team, which is very important. So mm. you also want to make sure that all the supporters are coming through to the FNB Stadium. Talk to us about the initiative. We are doing everything possible because it's starting from, it started today. Um, we are giving away tickets in Maponyamo and uh, making sure that uh, those ones who are not vaccinated, they get vaccinated. Uh, tomorrow we are encouraging each and everyone, whether you are vaccinated or not vaccinated, to come at Krolkop because there will be a site uh, where you can vaccinate and watch us train uh, at Krolkop. So we are encouraging... Uh, uh, with, uh, those ones who are vaccinated and those ones who are not vaccinated to come and uh, see us train um, yeah, to in preparation for, uh, for the game on Saturday. We know that it won't be easy, but uh, that's why we're doing all these activations so that uh, we encourage a lot of soccer fans, including those ones from other teams to come support <laughs> us because at the end of the day, it's not about Sundowns, it's about the country. So for us, we are doing everything possible and uh, I would want to just tell our supporters to come in numbers and especially tomorrow and for those ones who are not vaccinated yet, please, 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 let's vaccinate so that we can have access to the stadium. I mean, uh, at Sundowns, you display quality football. So that is, of course, the entertainment value. But I know you have other entertainment mm. besides the 90 minutes that we're going to be witnessing. Yeah, yeah, there will be uh, King Munada, Makazi, okay. uh, uh, are the Small, you know, to mention a few. But uh, those, were, uh, those are the ones who will be there before the match and at halftime as well. 
So there is a lot of entertainment. That's why we we're encouraging a lot of people to vaccinate and come to the stadium because there will be before the game there is entertainment already. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now that the entertainment part is out, we know how to get the tickets. They are free. What are you as a team going to be doing uh, differently? Because we know that uh, the away goal uh, away goal is obviously very important. But what are you going to be doing differently to ensure that you do book that spot in the semi-final? I think for us, uh, we, we had gone back and uh, looked at the game carefully, and uh, we know where we were, we were short. Okay. And I think we have done our homework. We have seen the mistakes we made. And I think uh, playing at home, you know, it's always, it's always nice, especially the fans which are back. And uh, look, I think I would, um, uh, it won't be easy, but uh, we are sundowns. Uh, we are sundowns, at least. Uh, um, I'll be able to put my, 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 my head on the block. I, I think... Um, We'll go through. We'll, 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 we'll see other teams in the semi-final. But for this one, I think we'll go through. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then maybe just lastly to everyone at home, when is the match kicking off from which stadium, what time, who are you playing, and why is this match of importance? We're at FNB playing at uh, uh, 6 o'clock. Yes. And um, please... Everyone has to come, please, 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 because this game is very important, not only for Sundowns, but uh, for South Africa as a country, because uh, we need to go as far as the finals, because anything can happen in the final, but uh, I'm 100% I'm sure that uh, we'll carry the day and we won't disappoint our supporters and the South African uh, public at large, yeah. Oh, love that. Thank you so much for joining us in studio today. Of course, that was Kennedy Mwini. He is the Mamilodi Sundowns goalkeeper. I mean, midweek, the co-coach of Sundowns, Orulani Mikwena, was talking about how they are definitely going to make their way through to the semi-final. They have promised that it is going to be entertaining, so do get your tickets. They are free. The match is happening at the FNB Stadium this weekend on Saturday, kicking off at 6 p.m. It is the second leg of the quarterfinal clash between Mamilodi Sundowns and the Angolan side Petro Duland.